Hello guys, this is the fourth video on the channel Optometry for You. This presentation is more focused on the topic of lens dispensing. In this video, we will be discussing about lens correction for aphakia and hypometropia. This presentation is for the education purpose only. All copyrights and trademarks of image belong to their respective IP owners and are used under the fair use for education purpose. Refractive error is a problem where the light is not able to focus on the surface of retina in an unaccommodated state of an eye. The most common type of refractive error are myopia, hyperopia, astigmatism and presbyopia. They are usually treated with the help of the spectacles, contact lens and surgery. The problems that are usually encountered by the patients when they are wearing high powered lenses are greater thickness of the lens, increased weight of the lens, increased abrasion from the lens surface. Apart from that, it is also the magnification of the image and there is a limitation in the visual field. The problem with the aphakic and hyperopic spectacle is mainly related to the thickness of the lens. The thickness will be more apparent at the center of the positive lens. Positive lens of full aperture looks more bulbous and presents difficulty with glazing. Apart from that, the other problems that are encountered by the aphex and hyperopar increased retinal image size that decreases the field of view. There is also an increase in the ocular rotation and lens abrasion. Motion of the objects can be seen by the patient in the field of view that is very annoying for them and it also reduces the cosmetic appearance of the wearer with the thick high power lenses. So now let's understand how there will be an increase in a retinal image size. In case of a normal fakie eye, if the refractive power of eye is plus 58.64 diopters, then the focal length in that case will be at 17.05 mm. In case of an AFAK AKI, the refractive power contributed by the cornea is 43.05 diopters and the focal length for the lens to correct the refractive error is at 23.23 mm. So now, the correcting lens in the case of an AFAK AKI needs to be placed at 23.23 mm. The retinal image size is directly proportional to the anterior focal length. So, when we divide the retinal image size in a fake eye with the retinal image size in E metro, then we will get 1.36, that is 36%. In this case, there will be a magnification of 36% of an image when a patient is wearing an a fake lens in front of the eye. Hence, a fake and high probes tend to have a image magnification. The field of view reduces in the case of the patients with hyperopia and aphakia. This reduction in the field of view is caused due to the prismatic effect of the high plus lenses reducing the size of the field of view through these lenses making it difficult for them to look and they need to move their head to see the objects that are present on their side. Patients usually find it very difficult when the objects tend to pop up from the periphery and appears at the center, especially when they are driving, when they cannot see in the periphery from the high power lenses and objects tend to pop up in the center makes it very difficult for them to drive. When the viewer looks from a strong positive lens, it results in an angular gap in the object space. Since there is a restriction in the field of view, it limits the vision and there is a need for increased head movement. So when an object appears suddenly from the scotomatous region to the central region, it looks like suddenly popping off the images and this is called as jack in the box phenomenon. The factors that leads to the development of the ring scotoma are lens power. The higher the power of the lens, this will result in an increased ring scotoma. The vertex distance. When the lens is placed close to the eye, it reduces the scotomatous region. The lens size. The higher the and bigger the size of the lens, 
it results in more scotomatous region. Smaller pupil results in the ring scotoma to be increased and the other factor that affects the development of the ring scotoma is the base curve. When a high power positive lens is worn, it results in an increased outward movement of the eye, which is caused due to the prismatic effect contributed by the high power lenses. So, prism needs to be incorporated in the lens which makes it easy for the eyes to converge during the process of reading. The abrasions that are encountered in the case of the high power lenses are spherical abrasions, coma, oblique astigmatism, curvature of free, distortion, especially it is a pin cushion defect that is seen in these high power lenses and chromatic abrasion a common type of the abrasions that are seen in the high power lenses. Motion of objects in the field of view is a usual complaint by the patient in case of a high power positive lens. When the person keeps looking straight and moves his head, then in that case the object tends to move in the opposite direction. This type of defect which is seen by the patient of the movement of the object in the opposite direction is known as swim defect. High power lenses also affects the cosmetic appearance of the person. Firstly, it results in the enlargement of the eyes. Secondly, it results in reducing the confidence of the patient also. So in order to overcome all this problem, the recommended lens choice is Firstly, the vertex distance should be minimized in the case of high power lenses. The recommended lenses are lenticular lenses that helps in reducing the ring scotoma abrasions and it also helps in producing flatter edges that will be useful to pay well and also helps in reducing the distortion. Horizontal and vertical centration needs to be measured along with the pantoscopic tilt and vertex distance. Thanks for watching the video on the channel Optometry for You. Please like the video, share it with your colleagues and subscribe to Optometry for You. Thank you.